Well, I love having you on because we just talked about Stacy about you know right. the flow of goods. You see it right. firsthand. Has the flow of trade, goods, cars, whatever, through the Port of Charleston changed that much since we visited you a couple of months ago? So we're seeing record volumes right now because where a retailer could advance shipments they have to try to get ahead of the tariff. So we had a busy November. We had our busiest week ever last, last week in December. We wow. think, think post-Chinese New Year, though, that's going to slow down because a lot of the shipments have been advanced. So normally you'd be in a slack season right now, and it's busy. So if we just took a Polaroid of what's happening now, you record volumes last week. Right. So no sign yet, but your contention is that's what the either a pull forward, channel stuffing, whatever you want right. to call it, and that you do believe it will slow. What kind of things are you seeing that would indicate a slowdown? Well, what we're hearing from people sourcing in Asia is that they shipped as much as they could ahead of time. So typically this would be a slow season right now. We think we'll see that slow season in February to April to April time frame. We don't know exactly what that means because we've never dealt with this before. And how do you plan, if you've never dealt with it before, Jim, how are you planning for the unknown? So, I mean, I think if you look at our investments, we build long cycle assets. You can't really time anything based on that. So we, we're we curious about what it will be. I think it will have a short term impact and we have to hope that the trade uncertainty is removed in time. And the reason that we visited you guys over Savannah or whatever, no knock on them, is that you are the, the port of export for all the BMW X5s that are made in the United right. States. They go all over the world. They're made in Greenville. Right. All right. Auto is a big part of the story. What has the trade flow been like on the auto side? I think people have to remember that BMW exports 70% of what they make. So it's, it's truly a global manufacturing story. That will continue. But I think long term, one has to watch automotive because you can make expensive cars anywhere in the world, ship them relatively cheaply. So I think the major impact could be with uncertainty from automotive manufacturing. They're very busy right now. Uh -huh. They've just launched a new X5. Um, but then we'll see if trade slows down in cars if the, the car industry is slowing. We don't know yet. And, and, no, and no sign right now of a slowdown, though. Record no. volumes last week. Uh, wow. record, record container volumes. The car shipments were slower because they had a model year changeover. The X5 changed. And they have a new X5 now, which is beautiful. So, so, but long term, automotive can be manufactured in a lot of places. Well, listen.